Hey, this is Smeej. This video was recorded on Twitch, so if you want to watch more casts or me feeding MMR, come check it out. Alright, welcome everyone Five to a seconds. game. We got Extreme Gaming Nine versus seconds. Team Liquid here in the Radiant playoffs, Band. the lower bracket elimination. It's a best of three. One of these teams is going to be going home. We're surprised to see Liquid here in this lower bracket. And we're going to get into the draft, Dial sped ban. up two times speed, and seeing if the Medusa's banned out, which I would very much enjoy to see. Ban. But instead, getting rid of the Elk, which is also a popular pickup here. Ten seconds to go. In this Five tournament. Seconds. And the Storm, kind of letting them pick the, the first light. Coddle. Well, what I mean is, uh, the storm is very powerful with the Caudal. They don't want to be giving to that a double seconds. pick to Extreme Gaming, so they ban out one of them. Radiant and Extreme does ban out the, the Medusa, so. Goodbye, Medusa. They pick up a Doom now. Ten seconds to go. Five Dyer's pick. Lich. And a Lich. Just a solid... Support hero with some good burst. Ten seconds to and go. And the frost shield. Five seconds. Dyer's ban. Terrorblade. Terrorblade. Coddle. That's a lot of annoying team fight. I'm seeing Ten long range metamorphosis. Five seconds. Some blinding lights and some speaking. Ban. Illuminates over the top. Whereas Doom is running in with the Frost Shield on top. Ten seconds to go. Chain Frosts bouncing around Five the Terror Blade Illusions. And now the next round of bans. No Dyer Muerta, ban. no Bloodseeker. Perhaps setting up for a next phase Pangolier pick, which is also very popular Ten with seconds the to go. Diffusal First build we've Five been seeing. Seconds. Radiance ban. Dark's here. Banned out by Team Liquid. Ten seconds to go. Doesn't wanna terribly Five doesn't seconds. wanna lane into that. Although I think he could, it's just uh, the the vacuum wall combo is very good against Terrorblade who wants to stand still and you know be a, like a tower defense game, just Dial shoot out ban. in metamorphosis form. And then the Void Spirit, which has been very prevalent Ten seconds to go. Uh, since Five the patch seconds. as a universal hero. He's probably the best one currently. The amount of attack damage he uh, gets from his 0.66 or 0.6 reach stat ban. has proven to be very strong. Hitting as hard as an edgy carry. Uh, with Ten his high mobility is very has Five been seconds. performing very well and now the Slark is Radiant's banned out against pit. Terrorblade, so just another hero who can man up against T B and shank him, steal his agility in the depth Ten shroud. To go. As well Five as the seconds. ultimate. Terrorblade doesn't want to deal with that. Does he wants to be able to sunder somebody? Dyer's big lion. Lion. Okay. Now the next round of picks are coming out. They banned Underlord. Picking up a line. Now Lion can buy the shard go. and zuck some illusions. Five Two seconds. illusions. Uh, kind of stopping Terrorblades. Some of his damage there in these team fights. They pick up the Pango now. The Bloodseeker Radiant's was banned big. out. Enchantress. Uh, Extreme had the opportunity the to pick up the Pango, but they let it through for the line. They, they get another support. Uh, but they see this Pango Enchantress and pick up go. an Ember Spirit, so... Five seconds. I mean, it's definitely... This Ember is definitely a hero that can deal with an inch. The amount of magic damage and uh, the Sleight of Fist ignoring the Radiant Untouchable. Man. However, this Pango is going to be... 
Uh, uncountered. As of yet. Ten seconds to go. The only Five thing you really have to worry about at the moment is an instant hex from Lion. Dyer's ban. That's going to be very difficult, and especially linking into an enemy team liquid might be spelling Ten Lion's instant death if he, if he messes up. Five seconds. Uh, now Sven and X banned out. We're seeing position threes, I guess. Nope, a position three for Team Liquid Radiant's and ban. a carry for Extreme Gaming. I'm gonna have the Ursa. Uh, I have noticed that Ricky hasn't been Ten seconds to go. noticed yet this Five draft. Seconds. Could be decent or Extreme. And the last fan is a centaur. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. A support duo of Lich Line against Caudal Ench. The last two picks to round it off. We're getting a mag. Stream now. Yeah, they could still pick up the Ricky. If they wanted, seconds to uh, go. I don't know what else. Five seconds. Maybe a TA. I don't think anyone's even cares about Drow right now, so probably won't be seeing that. Uh, probably not a troll with this Keeper of the Light. Maybe a Luna. I don't know. Drow Ranger. Drow. Now, oh no. Team. Who's it gonna be? Oh my god, I just got a phone call. And Liquid pick up the Magnus, which is gonna accelerate Terrorblade's farm. They both smoke smoke five people and they run into Profarazzi mid. Getting slowed up. Oh the blinding light back, it's definitely gonna be the first blood. Ah, by Team Liquid. So much more shall soon be spilled. Very sad time for Ember, he's gonna be scratching his head after that. And Liquid make a... Just commit to this mid... Straight down mid run. Works out for him. 30 seconds to show Okay, time. Mag with the Empower on to the Terrorblade. Uh, yeah. I mean... Against this Doom, they're gonna need that extra little bit of scaling, I'd say. Keep Terrorblade on top of this game. This Liquid are more spell heavy and they just have the terror blade to be dealing the right click damage and they're off this drow though i don't know uh, nice impale comes out by the line but he gets dragged back into the side of liquid no he runs up the stairs please. he's gonna be okay for now and now zai eating some frost blasts but is it dy who's in trouble <laughs> the blood grenade even comes out and hits him another impale by line but who's gonna die first it's zai Followed by Kaka, and now even DY is getting chased up another Blinding Light in one, but nope. The attack by Insania is going to finish him off, and it's a very bloody start to this game one. Earth Spike, I'm calling it Impale, yeah, I forgot. Because I never see this hero. But it is good to see him again, Line is... He's just got a lot of style. Now, uh, Sport's coming back into the lanes. So Drow and Lich against a... Mag, I'm pretty sure that's a Drow-favored lane here. With the, the mana boost from Boxy onto Zai. He's gonna allow him to secure that farm with his Shockwave. Now on the top, in the top lane we're seeing a Terrorblade Enchantress, which sounds quite powerful. Against Doom. Doom Lion. Wait up. Slow on Dakaka. He's been enchanted, turns with an Earth Spike to try to protect himself, but he's eating metamorphosis damage and some attacks from Insania. Mickey's gonna pick up the kill. Now all of a sudden it's 4 to 1. These are though getting low in the mid lane. The prop paparazzi might be looking for another slight. JT left without his, his partner for a minute here. He's okay, he's relatively close to his tower. No. 
He's got one salve and the line's coming back right now. Radiant's mid tower's getting banged up. Okay. Things are settling down a bit. Hopefully I don't curse it. Ghost is just holding his own against the mag. It seems pretty normal. Kaka though. Bit of the sore spot in the top lane. He's more susceptible to this enchant and the terror blade slow. The impetus is Impetuses are coming out again on top of him. And Drow's under tower. And special items coming out. Drow's going for those power treads. We got a fresh blood grenade on the Lich. Still ready to be used in positioning themselves aggressively to uh, protect the ghost's farm. Uh -huh. Pretty good there. Three minutes came and went, and Zai picked up that healing lotus. Okay, he's got the other one. Oh, both mid laners very low. Playing on that knife's edge, but it's looking like Pengo who's gonna Pengo who's gonna go back first. Paparazzi, twenty one last hits to Pengo seventeen. It's not too big I'm of a disparity. And what's Paparazzi flying out here? It's another yeah. salve. Some interesting stuff happening. Oh, just Insania chasing Kaka and uh, Zai. Dragging a wave which we Behold, don't see too often in this new patch. A fountain which my matriarch will prize. Coming back up. Oh, Paparazzi's lost his salve. Kaka's getting chased up. Is he gonna get collapsed on by JT? Here comes the Hex. Into the Earth Spike, it's a lot of damage, and Sania's getting chunked up. It's Tries to turn with an Impetus fair. and Kaka. Oh, he's getting delusioned by Terror Blade. One more hit might do it. Oh, the Wild Wing Ripper. Tears him in half. But he gets to eat a free creep. I don't know. Seems pretty Doom favored to me. But a nice consolation kill there for our Insania. Giving Line a free trip back to the base, though. Seeing a bottle refill. For Nisha, the same thing by Kaka. So the mids have also stabilized. Now the bottom lane. Drow still at the top of the charts here. In terms of uh, the carries, but not by any any margin at all. This game is very close. All around, only Zai just lagging slightly behind. Auto level 3 now. He's gonna start using Illuminate. Oh, a little dive by JT. He's been blocked by Insania. So he just decides to TP back to his own tier 1. Another Illuminate, but eating Frost Blasts is Zai. So just Radiant getting some nukes on each side. And now a dive on the top lane, Kaka. As well as Mikke eating some damage. Kaka's the one who's going to be running from the metamorphosis damage. He tries to turn now and hit JT. JT gets one, one of his infernal blades, but it's not going to be enough to finish him off. And he immediately starts sipping from that salve. Them dire buildings are tough as nails for now. Same with Insania and another, another healing lotus picked up. Hands it right over to Mikke. Top lane now. Becoming more and more in the favor of Liquid, however, Zai in the bottom lane immediately gone on by the rotation of Kaka. Dying top at a... Meeting up with his team bottom, they secure a kill on Zai, and Boxy's just been running around. Probably illuminating and warding stuff. I can see they have a nice ward here. Oh, Kaka, he's making the long run for the Wisdom Rune. It's not an easy path for him to take. Gotcha. But he's gonna run into a courier now. The Caudal's gonna be aware of this and they ping him out. There's no way he's gonna do this with the blinding light. 
And Zai as well, he drags him back. Oh, they charge him in though, can he snag it? Oh, Zai charged him into the Wisdom Rune. And now will he deny himself with the, the Ancient Snow? Uh, okay, some clowny stuff, but... I don't know, Kaka's probably pretty happy with that Zai. Have to, didn't have to charge him that far in. Shockwave might have been enough. And, uh, Insania. Oh, well. I guess Insania might have picked up... Oh, you know, they trade Wisdom Runes. It's... It is what it is. No, no. And after the death, another another bottle refill. No. Rotation by Nisha, the first Rolling Thunder, right onto JT. He's enchanted up. It's looking like there's no way out of this one. He tries to Wild Ring Hurricane himself out of danger. But... It is futile. It's a it's, it's a nice play there. It looked nice with the Infernal Blade on top of Terrorblade's head. But he will still fall, and Zai continues to drag the creeps. Paparazzi meeting up with Dy. Boxy might have been thinking he could help Zai. But Paparazzi's here now. No additional TP. Zai's looking pretty tanky. He's got the Vanguard completed and actually a Pavis. Finished up by Boxy. Mid -towers coming apart. Nice pickup. Venting Drow's right click damage. His eyes under the tower with Boxy. It's because they're meeting up with Insania. Here comes another Illuminate. His eyes getting slowed up immensely though. Now Par Par Paparazzi's oh. back. Slight chains onto Boxy. I don't think they have another stun for this though. He just TPs out. Radiant's bottom tower seen better days. Okay, and Liquid's trying to make some plays here. Paparazzi responding well, but Liquid scurrying away. Not Paparazzi, a little low on mana. Dyer's Don't know if he knows he's completely surrounded by four heroes. Mana's falling even lower now. Nisha committing a bit for this. He's got one more Fire Remnant though. He jumps away. Top lane, right on top of Mickey. Three heroes take him down. They not able to get that Sunder off. Line still level four. They don't pick up a finger stack for that. The dire might want to mine their top tower. Lines are drawn by Insania or no by Boxy Ghost. Dyer's top towers getting taking a look at Ghost here with 63 last hits. He's been relatively happy. In his bottom lane. Yeah, I don't think he has any deaths. Yeah. Mickey just picked up his first, but he's got three kills tower. to his name. Okay. A lot of people in, lot of people in the mid lane. Paparazzi, though. Another remnant. Okay. So I was under the tower again. But an easy charge away. Now it's feeling like Insania are trying to get something together. Supports are split up again. Insania is just farming a camp. He's going bottom now. Gonna have the roll available once he bottles up a few times. Might be committing for a tier 1 tower push. Trying to get Ghost out of this area. Zai. Setting up for the push. He cuts the wave. Baka's here though, as well as DY. They're hugging in the in the trees. They're gonna be expecting a rotation. They have the TPs ready. Okay, showing now with all four heroes. Initial frost armor, but it's looking like I think they're gonna give this one up. They could have already lost their own tier one top tower. Now it's time for extreme gaming. Radiant lost one of them bottom towers. Okay, Mika's deep into the jungle and can't do nothing about Paparazzi Dyer's spots him briefly. Right they take that Dyer's bottom tower, but you know the drill. Paparazzi's been trunking into this mid one the whole time with a catapult. It's Dyer's gonna be a free mid tower. They commit to like a four man push on the bottom lane. It costs <laughs> costs them a mid tower. Not entirely worth, and now Zai's getting gone on. 
completely control it. There's no ways out of this. Almost gets the skewer off though, but another another hurricane back by JT. He he loves this spell. It is pretty good. It's like a little mini force staff. For the dead. Directional force staff vector targeted. Paparazzi. Two heroes on top of him. He has a remnant. Magic shield keeping him relatively healthy here. Nisha level 10 gotcha. to Paparazzi's 9. Going for the the defusal blade. It's been finished up and they smoke up immediately on two heroes. Let's see where they're gonna look to go. <laughs> Ghost really loves this bottom area. He doesn't have a ward on the on the twin gate, so they're not gonna spot this movement. EY though is in the area. He's just protecting him with his body, and they are running right towards Ghost. Somehow Ghost sniffs it out. He doesn't even bother to farm the Jacuzzi. And Liquid have had a failed smoke gank. Two Observer Wards on the hill here. Sentry and an OBS, I guess. Oh, that's an OBS. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Okay. Okay, look what's moving as a team again as four, cutting through the bottom jungle now. There you might look for this mid tower and paparazzi should be relatively mobile. Radiant mid he zips away and the, the waves pushing in now. Insane he's already here with his pinecone. Radiant's gone and the creep. Are they gonna commit any TPs here? Lich is making the slow run. He's got the frost shield. The wave has been cleared though by the fortify. Mickey and Ghost have been patiently farming away. Look at the net worth. It's Doom who's on top. As a Doom does. That Midas. Followed by Mickey and Ghost to their uh, hand in hand here for the moment. Game looking really even, it's just the Ember who's actually a little lower than I would have expected. He has been farming, he just was running around bottom for a little longer than the Pangolier. But with an almost finished Maelstrom, his camp farming will become that much faster now. This smoke top costs them their mid tower. They don't catch Mickey who's a little, a little bit deeper into that jungle. And now they're making the cut, though, back into the mid lane. They could be running into Nisha. Not the easiest target to take down, but the, the Hex would be able to set it up. Going up the stairs, that's risky. Okay. I decide not to. Nisha is poking with this Diffusal Blade. It's ripping apart Paparazzi. So annoying with the coddle uh, chakra magic. <laughs> this was a DD on Nisha. He's hungry. Looking for a kill. These teams have been doing an excellent job of avoiding each other. This line's just committing for that blink. Oh no, line! You gotta run! You know something's up. Oh, Nisha's a little off the money, but he gets slowed up. And here comes the TP. Oh, I think he's gone. Yeah. Nice instincts by Kaka. And Coddle doesn't have the the stun to stop that TP. They don't have the time for the rolling thunder. The game of cat and mouse continues. Top lane. In these outer towers now. 
the outer offlane towers, which are just a little less desirable. Just a little damage, not committing for that. Die as There's Maelstrom on Paparazzi. Still the lowest core. Ooh. Look how aggressive he farms. He doesn't care though, he's got a remnant. Cutting the wave. It's preventing Liquid from pushing. They don't have the map pressure they would like to have. Running again is three. But they might be meeting three heroes. Kaka has the help of JT. JT has a blink. Okay, they're encroaching on the bottom tower. Now it's four heroes against three. Radiant bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Liquid now backing it out. The smoke by extreme Radiant gaming. Bottom tower seem better days. Hmm, a lot of respect in this game one. It's elimination series. They don't want to give up game one. Trouble brewing at Radiant. It's a huge tower. amount of momentum into the rest of the series. Both teams looking very evenly matched. And although Paparazzi is below the, the rest of the cores here, he is going to be very strong. These team fights, JT, as we saw, he had the blink, he's got the Crimson Guard, what's he going next? Octarine core. Baka should have the finished blink. Oh, very close, very close. Okay. It's still lingering in the bottom lane. Paparazzi, though, the perfect hero to be here to pick up the, the, the mess. Push out the lane. I mean, if he slides, if he slides in the wrong position, nope. I guess Zai doesn't have a blink, so he's not going to be able to, to respond to any of these slides in place. They don't have that instant lockdown. Lich, and also, this is cool, Lich with a Pavis as well. Frost Shield Pavis. That's, that's a lot of physical damage reduction. Just damage reduction in general. Hitting now for this tier 2 bottom. Even Mickey's here to play. Okay, uh, Extreme Gaming. Oh no, here comes the TPs. They, they don't want to give it up. Yep. Nice. Oh my god, Insane, he just got blown up. Aka in the perfect spot on his TP. Delete Enchantress, and now Liquid might be looking to fight regardless. So, so it does have a Blink Dagger now. Okay. But I think they're getting out. Yeah, okay. Mickey is TPing away. Liquid is done. And now XG. Pushing out bottom. They have a smoke ready. Becomes daytime, though. Not exactly sure where Liquid's vision is in this bottom part of the map. So they'll just opt to push out the lane as far as they're comfortable with. And get back to farming. The line picks up his first finger. That's plus 40 damage for him and Paparazzi getting the BKB, you know. Ghost didn't show up, I don't think. He's just been farming. Almost got a Manta for himself. Okay, meeting in the bottom lane, perhaps. Insane is running in. Zai with the blink. JT and Kaka, they're all taking the portal. Oh, I didn't know you could take the portal from the low ground. That's good to know. Going top, they still have a smoke ready on DY. Oh, but coming back now. Coming back. No, oh, they're going through. Are they looking for Roche? And Roche should be bottom. So... They are just gathering around. Ghost, maybe, and pushing out the top lane as Liquid has done in the bottom lane. This time they're a little faster to, to the push. It will cause Liquid to have to respond. Maybe they'll just trade tier twos, but nope. XG are backing Guys, away, top, and now Liquid coming down. back in to play. Once again, checking the high grounds. I don't know. They're not going to be back in, in nearly enough time. They're going to be giving this up for their own tormentor. It's going to provide an Aghanim shard for somebody. I don't know if it's the best trade. It is a very important 
part of the map to control for stream gaming now that they've given up they can capture the outposts getting more seem better days. deeper uh, teleportation spots for the side of liquid And now, Liquid are running into the Roche Pit. Okay, extreme. It's, uh, it's pretty sus play here. I mean, they, they know what's going on, but they're way too slow. They're not presenting the correct uh, agency here for the bottom tower and the control of this Roche Pit during the daytime. I feel like they, get, they got really lazy there for their... Or their tormentor kill, they gave up way too much for that. And now Liquid have an Aegis, they run into Nisha, they're smoked up his four, but it's gonna be a very hard fight to take. I mean the first death is down on Panko, that's a huge start. So despite what I said, they, they get things done there, they ha do have the DD on Paparazzi, it's a nice three-man RP, huge chain thrust though. Bouncing around, they're taking a ton of damage on XG, Ghost is here though, laying into them with Drow. Is he gonna be able to continue attacking his eye? No, JT now. Dooming up Angolier. Nisha's gonna be falling for the second time. And it's looking like a pretty even fight here. He supports dead for the in exchange for Pangolier. That's about as good as it gets for extreme gaming. So well played to them after uh Top After they dropped the ball down. slightly, in my eyes. And... And Ghost, yeah. Just in the correct spot. With that volley. Or apart the side of Liquid and Zai. He barely escaped. If they killed Zai, that would have been another huge pickup for Extreme Gaming. I'm the keeper. Now, uh, they don't have some ults on the side of the Radiant. Will be will Liquid be looking to uh, press the attack now? Making some movements. I mean, they see JT. I think he's just farming along top as his team. Shadow's behind him. They have two smokes ready. They, I don't know when they're going to be ready to use that in Zai. No RP for about 30. Radiant's top tower is hurting. Liquid's still very confident, despite losing the Aegis and losing Nisha there. They attack the top tower and... Oh, the XG is smoked up again. And they catch Mika, he's he's very far forward. Very far forward, however, Liquid is smoked behind him. They get a jump onto Insania. Here comes the roll by Nisha. Controlling up the Lich. Paparazzi pops his BKB earlier and I hear the Frost Blast coming out. JT now, still no Doom. Zai taking a lot of damage. From Ghost, he's just hitting them. He's just hitting Liquid, and there's nothing they can do except Mikkei does still have the Sunder. He successfully uses it on Ghost. He's gonna have to turn and run now. He tried to finish off the hard carry of Extreme Gaming. Now JT, he's back in the fight. He has a Doom ready in 10. And they continue to chase. He's got no Sunder. They're just gonna have to leave him to die. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, Liquid really... Really pressed as hard as I could in that top lane. They testing how strong they were, but they faltered. Saying he's still in the area. Oh, he's getting killed by an enchantress creep. Uh, sir. Okay, he blinks away. Look at this deep ward. What in the world? That is the deepest ward. I've seen in the state of the game. Oh my god, the Doom, casually used, on top of Boxy's head. JT, no blink. Doesn't have to use it though. He just decides he wants to kill. I mean, they killed the Terrorblade. So, there isn't really... It's probably the best time to use a Doom before a big team fight happens. I mean, it's still down for a long time. If Liquid really want to try again, they could fight. We saw, we just saw how that turned out and now Liquid might be thinking they need to be farming, continuing to farm on, uh, on Mickey. Because that last fight he, uh, he did some damage, but he got, he got 
chunked by the by ghost on the drought ranger comforting rune of regeneration we're saying ghost going into the silver edge tb getting a crystalis what other additional items we got Guess what's okay, eggs on Nisha is... Insania is going in some... The normal Enchantress builds here. Oh, the Solar Crest. Buffing up Mickey. Despite all these buffs, it's just not enough in DY. Radiance mid -tower could use a hand. Oh. A little bit of a tussle there. The paparazzi just blinks away. He's got a BKB we saw in the last fight. He's going for the eggs. Liquid. They're trying the top lane again. Maybe. I mean, they're here. Spotting Zai. Still have this very deep ward. They're checking out the Wizard Rune, which they will snarf up. A little the sad there for extreme gaming. They're the very patient though, as we've seen. They're okay with giving up hurting. certain objectives and oh, other things on the map. They're Dyer's comfortable with their with their strengths here, and it's it's been showing. They're three K ahead. Twenty eight minutes in. Dyer's mid towers score technical kill scores is dead even. So as long as they keep on doing what they're doing, they very well very well might have the correct read on this game. Sad though that Kako didn't get the Agnum shard there. It's like instead it went to the Lich. And both teams are smoking up. Oh yeah, they're just meeting in the river. <laughs> they they break their smokes and they just back away. No blink in time. Oh my god, Mickey went in way too early. His team's not even here. Oh, he's dead for 50. Misha's role is trying to set anything up, but he's already out. hes They've made the call. They need Mickey for this fight. And now Extreme are running as fast as they can on the heels of Liquid. We have slight chains combos. Okay, they're running towards the Twin Gate. They're slight chains. Nope, they're not going to catch anyone. But Mickey is more than enough. Mid -tower's getting banged up. Now it should be an easy outer tower here for extreme gaming. Tower. Look, but are well trained, they immediately go to push our waves. The Dyer gave up a bottom extreme tower. is going to be wanting to, to run down any lane to get more objectives. And Liquid know that, they go and spread out, pushing out top and mid, taking, towers getting the business. taking the enemy Ancients. Radiance top towers in bad shape. Okay, so already back up though, he's TPing into the mid tier too. JT still has his Doom? No, Doom's not ready yet. No Doom for 40. Now with the Octarine Core. Radiance top towers in bad shape. Doom actually still has the Hurricane the ability. Do about he doesn't want to give that up. Okay, Liquid now are the ones who are together, and JT actually just TP top. They could catch someone out, but JT's running to his team. He might be in the wrong direction. Nope, oh, it's five man smoke. I think it's been spotted out by Extreme Gaming. They already had that ward there in the mid lane. Paparazzi's got to be a bit careful then. It means I has to be the one to go first if it's on an Ember. Aka's ready to make the counter initiation in the trees. He's got his blink. Radiance They're just running south. They're trying up. to find the farming drow, but drow's by our tier three, just waiting. Just waiting to join the fight if Liquid makes the move. Radiance mid tower could use a hand. Now it might be Extreme Gaming who are gonna be smoking up. Nope, but they run as a team. Clearing out any potential wards. They do have a gem actually. Paparazzi. Picked one of those up. Would getting vision with their summons. They're running in. I mean, this wilding ripper is letting them know the scan comes out, so they're just coming into this fight regardless. JT as well. The doom on top of Mickey. It's not a lot of damage, but it's going to be hard for him to sunder. The control by Nisha is there, but PK beat up Paparazzi jumping onto Mickey now. 
JT with the Infernal Blade. It's a lot of damage, and Ghost is just shooting this whole time. Falling a little bit low there. Tango has another jump, looking for Ghost. He cannot get the kill. Now Nisha's is going to fall too. They've lost the Lich on Extreme Gaming, but it doesn't matter. Now the Roche is even back. The Liquid's down three. Oh, and Sany was even hiding in the trees this whole time. Able to TP away, but for sure Extreme Gaming are going to be picking up this Roche. After a solid team fight, it's a 9k lead here. 9k and a Roche, it's going to turn it up into a 10k lead. And it's a difficult place for a liquid fight because they're around the Roche pit, but you can see it's just surrounded by high ground and extreme. Able to approach from any of these angles, uh, not afraid with the type of damage that can deal with the slights onto a grouped up enemy team and just the tankiness from Doom. He pops his BKB, he lands it on his correct target. I don't think they have any sort of Lincoln Sphere or a Lotus Orb can prevent this type of play. So he just dunks on, on Mickey, and then Ghost shows up with that Shadow Blade and starts tearing him apart. Now it's feeling like extreme gaming in a very firm lead here. A one team fight and Still holding the gem, that's a huge advantage for the Radiant team and Liquid. Still looking to make plays, they're not done yet. Staying together, they roam top. Guess what's happening. It's gonna be a free tier two bottom. Ghost still has one ages for about four minutes. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. Dyer's bottom towers get in the business. Dyer just couldn't save that bottom tower. <laughs> Liquid spread out, but uh, they cannot quite push out this middle lane. They're looking at paparazzi. Radiant's top tower. However, they cannot shape. do anything about this. The, the top tier two is getting hit. Bottom tower. Okay, here comes JT to clean up that little mess. Four heroes together, bottom extreme gaming. Not have a smoke, but they're just together. Continuing to push out. Ninja's army providing some. Little info here, they, they know that they're still down, but oh my god, what's happening? What's Bottom's happening? eye has been Dyer's doomed, and the Infernal Blades by JT, he's chunking him up. And the doom will expire, he's gonna have to have one more hero here, to help him get this kill, and they actually just killed Nisha top, or Bottom. Somehow Extreme Gaming is making a high ground attack while they're going on to Zai, <laughs> and Mickey here is now fighting JT. I mean, he might be able to kill them, but they're losing their tier 3 bottom. JT TP's away. Now it's Mickey who's TP'd back to base. While Extreme Gaming is still attacking this tier 3, they almost destroy Nisha in one volley. The RP onto three heroes to do anything for his team, but Ghost still has the Aegis. The Chain Frost coming out now onto Mickey, but he's been BKB'd the first. Aegis is down. Respawning and Paparazzi a bit low on many. He does have the cheese, though. Okay, Ghost is up, he pops his BKB, he's running laterally, but down for 80, and the tier 3 still stands. Zai does finally set up the, oh, a nice team play for his team to follow up on. And a successful high ground dis defense against an Aegis carrying Drow. Bit of a hectic move there as JT was fighting Zai and he couldn't couldn't connect to that team fight bottom it turned it into a 4v5 very quickly I think that's okay though extreme gaming they're still up by 14k and here comes the second tormentor kill Kaka you gotta be careful man that thing will kill you this thing will kill you Kaka Kaka get out of here man both supports run for their lives and now 
Let the cores do the heavy lifting. Oh, D-Way is running back. He wants one more attack with his Frost Blast. Come on, just leave it alone. <laughs> I mean, I guess they both have Tranquil Boots. That's okay. I guess that's something interesting we've been seeing this game. Uh, no Mana Boots on Extreme Gaming. Okay, the Tormentor falls. Kaka finally gets his Aghanim Shard. It's gonna be easier for him to take care of Terrorblade Illusions, as we see him do right there. Okay, the 14k lead has just fallen by 1k. They still have the cheese though on Drow. Paparazzi deciding to, deciding to hold it that team fight. And they even lost the gem, did they? Oh no. Oh, nope, they just gave it to the Lich DY. Extreme Gaming uh, again, opting for this bottom lane. It's where they're most comfortable pushing. They know that it has the most space for them to take a good high ground siege. And Liquid are just gathered up in their triangles. Zai is ninja geared up, very powerful neutral item. They smoke is for five. Heading right towards Extreme Gaming. I Radiant mean, it's Mid looking Tower like a good a attack here. Kaka's got to be ready with the with the Hex. Oh, he pops the BKB. He's not going to be able to Hex him. Okay, so they got to run back. But the control's on to Insania. He's getting rolling thundered on JT. He does get the Doom, though. Finally, it's an Aghanim's Doom, though. On himself, he's already low, so he's going to have to run. Post. Oh, he gets sundered. But the turn, can he continue attacking? The cheese is not ready to be eaten. And now they're trying to protect Mika. He turns back. He doesn't have a Sunder, so Ghost could eat the cheese and attack, but his team's already dead. He decides to run. Ghost and Paparazzi make the TP back home in Liquid now. Fighting back, they make a a one. They they win a team fight there. They're definitely not out of this game. It's despite the 10k lead, they they know they have the tools. They have the strength to win these team fights. My sprites are with us. Zai, he's, he's beginning to feel himself now. He's he's making the plays needed. But the RP's down. Can they? Can they make a high ground push without the RP? Oh my god. Paparazzi. Gotta be careful, man. Look how slow he is. They're sitting the tier 3. Okay, they use the fortify. Lich is gonna be up. Uh, it's gonna be too late. Liquid, though, respecting. Expecting stream gaming, they back it out. Showing them that, you know, we're not done yet. We're not done with you guys. We're, we're not just going to fold over because we lost to the Roche fight. I feel like Zai with this finished BKB is really making it hard for extreme gaming to respond to these, these RPs. He can be a little bit... He can extend himself further, put himself into dangerous situations, and still complete his combo. Nothing Lion can do about that. So he might have to be aggressively looking to find other people. If Zai goes in with another RP, it's just onto the line, but that might be enough to start this. Because the Doom, he's well, they doomed onto Zai. He's not going to be dying though. And Ghost pops his BKB early, trying to attack Mikay and Nisha. Paparazzi, though, he's trying to finish off Zai and the Rolling Thunder. Nisha's so low. One more attack will do it. Another Infernal Blade hits him. Okay, Ben goes down and Zai as well. Mickey, he's still healthy here. He's trying to fight up some stairs. Ghost, he's got his, he's got his Shadow Blade and he begins the chase now. Mickey, no Sunder. JT, oh, he pops his, he pops his item. He's his Crimson Guard. He's gonna be okay, I think. Uh oh, it's not Insania. That's his favorite spot down there, isn't it? He loves these trees. 
<laughs> and they even get a gem for that. Damn, two gems now on extreme. That fight was insane. They were all trying to dive each other. And yeah, it looks like extreme definitely got the better end of that fight. Zai, he uses the RP on a line to start the fight. You know, it. He had the Aeon Disc, I, I believe, so it wasn't a good target that time. And expelling the RP on a support uh, just isn't going to do it, Zai. But they almost pull through, they almost pull through. Dive okay, Rosh uh, potentially in four seconds here. Oh! What tech is this? They drop the gem in the pit so that it gives you know, passive vision. It's cool. So now he picks up the gem again. Okay, just bursting down Roche with a chain frost and an ice spire. Pretty easy for extreme. Unfortunately, Liquid now will now give up the second Roche. Free, or is this the third now? The third Roshan for free. Because he just dropped cheese and the agonims. <laughs> oh, mighty money. A jury of my peers. Okay. Aegis in hand and. Ghost is Radiance ready to push out the top lane. Apart. I mean, in the Liquid are kind of here. If they see Ghost, they might try to make the move on him before uh, Extreme Gaming can respond. That's exactly what Zai's gonna do, but oh no, the Skewer. It was either dodged by Manta or it just wasn't right, wasn't close enough, and now I have man smoke on Extreme. Liquid, gotta be careful. Paparazzi at the forefront, let's see if he catches anyone, any glimpses, they might have seen Zai there, it is daytime. Jumping in, first remnant he used. Yeah, he sees everything. He's silenced up though. He's okay though. Pops the BKB Kaka now. Pops the Zayon disc, he's gonna die I think to Mikke, the Doom on JT, the self-doom, but he's taking a lot of damage. They're gonna need to do more to Mikke. Ghost finally now attacking from the from below. He, it's gonna be easy cleanup for him. Just way too much damage to deal with. And Ghost. Strike, 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 and next strike. with his team. Sorry, Line. You you died for the cause. I mean, yeah, yeah. Liquid have the damage, but XG. Oh, just a little, just a bit too far ahead now. The net worth at 24. 24k. Liquid might have been broken from that team fight. They've got some buybacks, I guess not on Zai. JT teeping back to his team. A refresher shard on JT. He's gonna have that Doom ready again. Another tier 3 will fall. Nisha, oh no. The refresh Doom? Oh my god, Nisha. He's back in the base, but he's not going to be able to roll for a long time and then Saint or Boxy. It cut in half by a sword. Paparazzi just harassing the Pango. They're just going to sit in the base and watch this happen. Taking the top racks, now the bottom. They, they have the buybacks, but I don't think they're going to be using them. Paparazzi, way too comfortable. Dyer's bottom rags didn't they're just it. taking a range something bad just taking a melee I guess career. one set and one melee extreme definitely gonna have to make some mistakes here to lose this game they've almost got it in the bag loving the Aeon Disc on Kaka, he's able to get into the fray and get eat some spells. He's he gets his off though. It's just a, just enough to get things started so Ghost can, uh, can arrive and begin his attack. Hmm, even Boxy has an ninja gear. Interesting. 
Now liquid. Thinking hard about the next next move they want to make. They tentatively push out top and mid, but they're mostly just together. And uh, deciding on how they want to make this attack, where they want to go. They might just be patiently waiting for a mid push. And XG are uh, doing the same thing. They're just waiting on their side of the river. There's the smoke. Oh no, Terrorblade. Um, they might have just thought Ghost was under his Silver Edge, so I don't know if they sniffed out that smoke entirely. A tool to teach. Okay, Kaka first. Kaka's ready to make the jump. He's almost there. Kaka, do something. Okay, he does it. Hex and blink. He's gonna pop his Aeon Disc. I don't know if it's enough. Yeah, okay, this, the Doom is right on point there. Mickey's in huge trouble. A double Doom is at 30, but the RP on two. Mickey, though, he cannot get his Sunder off. Now Zai, RP for what? Nisha's has well been decimated. He's, they're both, they're using all their buybacks, though. Trying to take out Paparazzi, who's in the base. It's a desperate last attack here. But XG, they've got... They're, they're totally fine. I mean, they only lost the line. They don't care about these buybacks. They know there's no Mickey. They're going to take their time. The ghost, though. Oh, no. Ghost. A little bit alone. Skewered into the tier two. Trying to hurricane pike themselves away. Okay. They don't have detection. And now DY setting up the kill on Insania. Paparazzi's here as well to help out for the fight. But not get that kill on the ghost. Look, we're gonna have to run back, probably give up this tier 2, go for the high ground, but Extreme are already back and attacking into Insania, the jump in by JT, the Infernal Blade onto Nisha, Insania's down. Now yeah, Liquid fully backing into their base. They're like an angry swarm of hornets, they don't just go away, they stay out and fight, but finally, finally been swatted one too many times, they're in a weakened state. Okay, up in 10. <laughs> Easy tier 2 and Kaka. Some beautiful line plays here. He just... Tower. He blinks and creates confusion. He pops his Aeon Disc and runs around like a madman. He even has magic immunity on his mana drain. Everything you might want from a line. <clears throat> JT's alone. Well, okay, Liquid destroyed that Tormentor. Such a deep ward here, not spotted by the sentry. Okay, places that one expertly. It's gonna have to be Kaka to make the jump again. JT is showing bottom. So they're not ready to fight for this siege, Kaka. Because the illusions. Not not casting a spell though to cut these creeps out. He might be going back. I think he's gonna wanna cast cast onto these creeps and push out the lane. They're taking it slow and steady. JT's back. Okay, attacking top, the jump in by Doom. The Doom is already on Danisha, double Doom, this one onto Mickey. Insane Earth Spike, jump in by Zai, RP on the 3, but is it already too late? Okay, buyback on to Mickey. Now it's his turn to attack from the stairs. Taking down Zai, though, he buybacks as well. Rolling Thunder, controlling up Lich, he's down for 110, but it's just a support and three buybacks used. They're gonna need more. Aka could be another good pickup with the Hex, he's got another Earth Spike to Nisha. Overcommits for the fight. Another skewer back though. On to Ghost. He doesn't have Aegis, so a kill would be very good. He does go down. Now they're, it's gonna be Paparazzi. Just making the solo attack. He does escape though. Man. Liquid. Using all their resources there, but they actually fend off extreme gaming. 51 minutes in. This game's not over still. These buybacks, though, the dieback potential. I don't know. Extreme, they, I don't know if they can help themselves. They're gonna need 
They're gonna want to go in and fight again. Oh god. Lupin's already making the jump in. They don't have Doom or Refresher ready. Oh! But Kaka makes the first connection. Long range Earth Spike followed by the Hex. Mickey's jumping in though. Ghost as well buys back. Oh jeez, they're killing Mickey. Down for 125. Mickey could not get any damage in. So sad and boxy. Die backed as well. It's gonna be an easy run down the bottom lane for Extreme Gaming. Aka makes the first contact again. It's looking like Zai didn't have his RP for that fight either, so. Both teams very eager to uh, take any team fight with any tools they had jump in by Kaka. Not spotting the trickster cloaked Chantress. The, bottom the war does. JT. JT's gonna want to finish this one off. The Dyer's bottom racks is done for. Dyer's mid tower. Standing under the tier fours. No, he blinks in. Have fun trying to bust He's down got two dooms. Now. I don't know. No, Liquid are totally done. Yeah, Liquid are out of this game. This game one. Technical difficulties. Oh, but a well fought, a hard fought game one. Now. Maybe one last ditch effort here by Zaya the Skewer. Skewer back is always scary. The tier fours are falling and ancient exposed paparazzi's pretty much in the fountain though the one of the dooms is used right on top of Zai. He's not gonna be able to skewer back this time. Down for 110. Second doom on Denisha. Yeah. GG's called. Game one for uh, team. Stream gaming. This elimination series. Uh, Liquid's gonna be fighting for their spot in this tournament as we go into game two.